It's the video that nobody's going to want to watch because nobody cares about this amp. Not even line six. Oh. We're going to travel in time all the way back to 2015 with the Amplify 75 today, right here on Geargasms. Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today we're going to time travel not too far back in time and look at the Line 6 Amplify 75. Why does anyone care about this amp? Why should you care about it? I'm going to tell you that in just a second, but at first, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe. This channel is kind of like people who take Instagram pictures of their food. Do us all a favor and hold that picture until you can split screen it with the resulting deuce celebrate mediocrity. But why you should care about Line 6 Amplify 75, even though uh, they don't sell it new anymore, they don't support it. Again, Line 6 is first. They're always the OG. And you know, in a lot of ways, they still did it best. Now this doesn't have the smart learning features of like the Spark, but what it does have is five speakers. As a music player, full range, it sounds crazy good. Now it has all the normal amp controls on the top. It's got drive, you know, three bands of EQ, I think a headphone volume, an overall volume, and a reverb. On the back, it's pretty simple. It looks like they just have a USB out, like a Cat5 uh, connection, probably for, I think they had a floorboard for this. Teeny tiny 3.5 millimeter auxiliary in, and of course, a full size quarter inch headphone jack out. There's not really any like gaudy logos on it. You could sort of just sneak this into like a family room, living room situation. You could put it in your office and, and people wouldn't really know what it was. The shame of the Amplify 75 is that the Line 6, they just kind of abandoned it. They'd ab abandoned development. They didn't do anything new, which is fine. But one thing I wish they had fixed before they ghosted on it was the Bluetooth iteration. You cannot play your music through this and jam along with it through the app without the Bluetooth crashing doesn't have any kind of rhythm in it whatsoever. It does have a tuner. They do have backing tracks that you can download through the app that are just god awful that you can play along with. Signal path today is we's gonna be using my Charvel DK24 HH. We're gonna take the headphone out and go straight into the DAW, no post-processing. Why am I still talking? Neither one of us know at this point. Let's get right to it. <laughs> Oh, that's one of my favorite presets, John Petrucci. But I told you I'd give you a quick overview and let's do that. When you come into this thing, really, first of all, is tones. It gives you some built-in hardware ones on the Amplify. And when I say some, it gives you a lot. Of course, the cloud, you can find anything you want. You can save your own tones. You can mark them as favorites. And basically, the tones I have here, for the most part, are ones that I just grabbed off the cloud and I might have modified them. I'll give you like just a straight up Marshall. Give you a clean. Now, right there, if you can hear one of the things that's true about this and a lot of these type amps, the difference between preset volumes is, is usually large. But if you wanted to fix that, we'll go right in there and you go into edit. But the channel volume could be up a little more, right, right? The master. And then, of course, you know, if you're playing with music, you can change the relative output level to your guitar. But let's just say you needed that louder. All right, no problem. You see this little guy flashing in the corner? It means we've edited it. I'm going to put my finger on it. Oh, and yeah. And we'll just do saved my tones. So already you've made that a little better. So let's go back to our other friend. Right away, you got the amp. Now, if you're looking at the screen, you're like, oh man, that's kind of ugly, bro. But it's functional and it makes you, it breaks you away from this thought of looking at the knob and it makes you think in terms of values. And, and I really like how you can see the EQ at a glance. Right away, you're like, all right, this is pretty mid scoop. Now, if you see our guy in the corner there again, it's a flashing 
because we've, we've changed something. We're not going to save it. And if you ever, you know, you're like, oh, I don't remember how it was. And you're like, oh, I don't want to save that change. It'll prompt you. Do you want to save it? Would you like to discard these changes and continue loading? You have to read it because your instinct is to say no, but you want to say yes. That's what she said. See, that delay between tones makes this thing, I mean, you know, if you thought you could gig live with it, it's not going to happen. Let's get in there to the edit bay again. All right. This one doesn't have much on it. It's got a delay, analog delay. And if you say, like, man, you know, I'd rather have something in the digital, you just tap that thing there, and you can go into all your delays. And here's where you get into the fun, pretty graphics, and it makes it super easy for you to figure out what you want. You look at those, and you're like, man, I recognize pretty much every piece of gear in there. And then when you're done, you just hit done. <laughs> then you got to watch where you put your hands on the neck. Now you got digital delay. It's too subtle. Turn it up. Look at all the mods. There's many of them. Many of them. And that's where this piece of gear just rocks. I've had it for a long time and I have not even begun to scratch the surface of the crazy crap that's in there. <laughs> Fun for days. Back to editing, as you can see, the signal chain makes a lot of sense. You can throw an EQ in there. You, or, or there is one, you can adjust it. You can have a compressor, and you just, I think, tap. There you go. There's the power button if you want the comp on. Did you hear it jump out with the compressor? I think I kind of like it with the compressor, actually. I'm going to leave that. And on and on and on. Of course, you can pick all your reverbs, pick your type. And some of them times will show you kind of like amp reverbs for the spring because there are different types of spring reverb. And again, the graphics are so helpful when you're making your choices there. Eagles Country Lead. Let's see what it's made of, peeps. They're arranged really weird with like clean and high gain and then American and British. But as you know, there's lots of clean American amps. So it's really weird. You just have to hunt and peck. So we touch that guy again. Oh, that took it away, didn't it? As you can see, clean, it's kind of weird. You can get some Line 6. They, they did some of their own stuff, some piezo stuff, some sparkle, some of, some of the usual suspects course. You know, it's no, no surprise that the jazz chorus is there. You get into American, that's when it gets a little weird again. And then you get into uh, British, pretty much all Marshalls with a couple of boxes. One orange and one high watt, come on. That actually sounded decent. Let's hear the orange. And then finally, high gain, which again is a mix of American, British. Line 6 has done a lot of their own amp designs, but it's mostly in the high gain stuff. You just want to get stupid. Line 6 Lunatic. This has Line 6 Insane. And here's a tone I guarantee you're going to hate. That's the only cool fuzz riff I know. And then we come right back into Eagles Country Lead the way we were before. Oops. 
It's the only Eagles riff I know. <laughs> that was Fender Chorus. And as you can see with this amp, there's just so much you can do and look at and tweak and, and just fart around with. But really the, the genius is it's in the presets. So let me show you how like, all right, you just want some kind of tone and you need to do a switch. Well, last thing I searched was Petrucci, obviously there. Let's just go for something a little more vague, grunge. Right away, it's always funny to see what, what people consider to be grunge and, and not grunge. I, I, three doors down is grunge. I don't know, a lot of Foo Fighters, Everlong, Everlong, Everlong. This is Everlong V1.2, it has to be better than V11. Let's try V11. I don't know. I kind of like V11 better. I don't think he improved it. Mr. Mark Barrett from California. Loser. Maybe grunge wasn't the best best word to do. Let's uh let's do um g -g -g funk. Let's do some clean funk. Funk chorus. Let's go, all right, let's go David Gilmore. Or no, let's just let's just go artist. Pink Floyd. And, and you can see there's ratings. I don't know how many people, if you can really see how many people rate it four stars or whatever. Comfortably numb solo. This is one that everybody kind of knows. <laughs> It's just like the solo. So another fun thing about this, if you're like trying to make your own tones, you're like, man, I like that. It sounds really killer. How do I find out what's in the DNA? The high watt, they started with an accurate amp. I'm gonna guess, is there a fuzz? The killer Z. Little ping pong, no. See, now, now when you go to your mod, you see phaser. If it's kind of dim, it's not on. If you click the power button, see how it comes alive? <laughs> tones, dim tones. You can get tones all day long. Shine on, you crazy diamond. So nice. See, that is the danger too of browsing the web. You get one that's so loud. Oh, like that one, that's too much. Always the best tones. They are always the best tones. I'll fight you over that. It's Petrucci. Come on! But yeah, Mr. Petrucci uh, tones are always killer. Let's try this Petrucci channel lead. Let's see what we get. Just the sustain. Bridge pickup. 
The best way really to, sh to show this amp in all of its glory is just to, to browse the presets. You get your standard classic rock cliche kind of. <laughs> It's funny, that was awful. <laughs> but the first four in Bank 2 are artists that traditionally like to go after YouTubers for copyright. That's just so ironic. You got Led Zeppelin, then you got ACDC, then the Eagles, and the estate of Jimi Hendrix. So I'll have to be careful. This is back in black. <laughs> Gotta get in the right mode for this. See, and, and then I guess American Idiot's supposed to just sort of be that. Just very, and it is very just tight. Did that sound like Green Day? Of course it did. Of course, <laughs> streets have no name. There is Sue thing. Let me see if we can do something else with it. Oh yeah, it's time to whoop. So tight. The tone, not my playing. Woman. Seriously? Woman. See, we all expect that tone to be, uh, we expect it to be the damn solo or, you know, the echo and all that. But it's just the rhythm part. Very nice. I'm going to use that take. I'm skipping Master of Puppets, all you Stranger Things fans, <laughs> just to keep my numbers low. Acoustic finger style? Let's find out. Let's be men. Oh yeah, crazy tone. Of course, this is a classic. sound of the of the 80s right there this one's always fun <laughs> then they just get into like just rock rhythm I like that better what does it think a rock solo sounds like? Versus a metal solo. So as you can see, this thing can do just such an amazing range of tones. 
Well, what did we learn today? We learned that you could spend from now until when the baby Jesus calls you home, going through all the effects and amp models in this thing. I've had it for a long, long time and I've farted around with it some-ish. There's just so much time you can waste getting in there and tweaking this thing. If you like to tweak, this thing would have been for you. We also learned that the strength of this particular product, in addition to its tweakability, is the being one of the first ones to really connect to a cloud community and to being able to download presets from, from other users that they've designed. What we didn't learn, because we just didn't have time, was just how great some of the rest of these sounds are. Obviously, Line 6 is known for its digital effects. All that stuff is killer. But the amp models in here, they may not be exactly accurate, but most of them are musical. You can hear the difference, and they sound and play great. As always, I thank you for the time that you spend with the channel. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Tell some of your slow-witted, embarrassing, ratty-ass, ghetto, Section 8, trailer park friends about geargasms. You know I'm going to wrap my arms around them and make them family. If you think you're tired of hearing about merch, you have no idea how tired I am talking about it. Do what you need to do. That's what she said. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Will Smith about it because he wants to keep your name out of Jada's mouth. He thinks your name is Dick. Aww. But play more guitar, watch less of this, and keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasms.